Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It is currently my fourth month of HRT and a lot has changed and I cannot wait to fill you guys in. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into it because I don't like long intros. <laughs> So I wanted to start this video off by updating y'all on both my testosterone and my estrogen levels. Um, just so you guys get a good idea of how much things have changed in three months. So we're gonna start with estrogen. So I got my first blood test March 8th and my estrogen was already pretty high. I had 53 PG and then I got my blood tested again July 10th and then it raised to 103 PG. I think that the normal range of estrogen is around 400, I believe. I forgot what it said when I looked it up, but if I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comments, but I believe it is 400. So this just proves that the estrogen is working. Right now I'm on pills, as I told y'all in the last video. I did switch from the patches to the pills because the patches were just too much for me. They were always falling off and they were always so itchy. So I had to... <laughs> I take two milligram pills every day for 23 days and then I stop for five days and then I repeat. Now in terms of my testosterone, I had a lot of testosterone. For my first blood test I had 981 nanograms i think that's what it stands for yes yeah, so i had 981 nanograms and then it dropped to 499 nanograms so i am very excited about that and i'm not really surprised that it dropped that much because i take spiro every day i take 100 milligrams of spiro every day so I think that my body is getting used to it. I'm not as tired anymore, so I'm grateful for that. But yeah, those are my current blood test results. So things are working in my favor so far, so that is amazing. Now next, I'm gonna talk about boob growth, okay? So I'm obviously wearing a padded bra right now. Um, so this obviously is not the real thing. But I, I'm gonna give you guys a little timeline for those of you that do want to start hormones, just so you know what to expect each month. So, like I said, I was on patches the first two months. Um, they worked. I did experience, well not experience, I did see some um, budding around my nipple at around two months. And then I wanna say like the two and a half mark when I started to take my pills that's when i started to feel pain and like it was like the first week it wasn't that bad and then each week it just kept getting worse and worse <laughs> like currently right now my nipples are so sensitive and they're in pain every day like whenever they touch something it just it's just a lot of pain but it's bearable i don't want to scare y'all like it's definitely bearable i could deal with it it's just new to me um and I want to say around the three month mark, which I am at right now, you're going to feel a hard knot behind your nipple, but that's completely normal. Um, it just means that you're going through your second puberty, like cis females do when they're young. I want to say like 13, 14, that's when they experience, you know, the budding and the knots behind their nipple. So things are working. So, but if I'm being honest, like my nipples, like my chest hasn't really changed much. But I do notice like a very, very slight change because I know my body, like things are working. They're like definitely like changing. It's just going really slow, which I heard that the pills are slow, but I'm patient. So I'm willing to wait. But yeah, that's all with boob growth. Um, muscle loss. I am experiencing a little bit of muscle loss. Not too much, of course, because it's only three months. My main goal is to just get rid of all this muscle in general. Um, I want to say that's like a big part of the dysphoria that I do face sometimes is just looking in the mirror. I want to say like my side profile is like what I don't like the most because that's where I see like my chest 
muscles and my arm muscles like protrude the most if that makes sense but yeah i hope that the estrogen as i like as time goes on i just hope that the muscle just slowly but surely fades away because i don't want her she is not welcome anymore <laughs> now let's move on to emotional honestly i'm not really an emotional person to begin with and nothing has really changed but that which is shocking because like with all the videos that I did watch um, of other girls, they're like, oh, I go through so many mood swings, this and that. I think that they just have anger issues. If I'm being honest, no shade, because I feel the exact same emotionally. I'm just naturally a calm person and things don't really get under my skin that much. Just don't test me. <laughs> Another thing, my skin has gotten extremely soft. It's always been soft, but like I said, I know my body and it has definitely got softer. Oh, and another thing that I want y'all to be aware of when taking your hormones, especially your spiral, is that you're going to be, number one, extremely hungry all the time. I am way more hungry. Um, I haven't really been gaining weight yet. Knock on wood, but I haven't been gaining no weight. Um, well, I have, but just in the right places, but anyways, but yeah, you're going to be extremely hungry and extremely thirsty. When I tell you, I always drink water, but I have never drank this much water in my life. Like, I go through packs of water, like packs of water every week, okay? And it's low-key annoying, but, you know, it's always good to stay hydrated, but that is something to be aware of. So be, be, be ready for that, be prepared, because I wasn't at all, <laughs> at all. And going back to my muscles, even though I haven't really noticed much like depletion in them, like they have gotten slightly softer, but even though I haven't really noticed like that many changes in them, they have definitely got weaker. Like I noticed like when I carry things, like within like five or 10 seconds, they, my arms get tired and I'm just like, I get winded easily now and that's something that I'm not used to either so maybe because I have not been to the gym in over a year that possibly is the reason why as well but I'm gonna blame it on the hormones so <laughs> all in all I feel good my dysphoria has decreased tremendously um, I'm grateful to even be on hormones being that I am from Florida and y'all know how Florida is. So I'm just grateful to even be on hormones. That I can even do this. I'm gonna keep on trucking, you know? And yeah, yeah, and that's all that's been going on with me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions in the comments, um, or if you're taking any hormones yourself and wanna share your experiences down below, don't be afraid to. I always interact and respond, so please leave a comment. And as always, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.